What's up you guys, it's Pierre. I have a quick look today at the ASICS Blast FF3. These are advertised as volleyball shoes, but I got a tip from Squash Galaxy that these are popular among squash players on the higher end of ASICS models. My personal shoe that I use is the Fastball, so I'm gonna be comparing the FF3 to the Fastball. I have used these one time on court so far, but I'm eager to do this first look because there have really been struggles finding and recommending good ASICS shoes and have tried these out once and had a good experience with them. I wanna be able to put these up on Squash Source as a recommendation for someone looking for alternatives in the higher end shoe department. I use these on the doubles court and I like them right out of the gate. My biggest worry about them was gonna be on the grip. You can see the sole doesn't cover the entire bottom of the shoe. Even on the fastball, it doesn't exactly either. There's a bit of a gap here at the arch, but with this type of shoe, there's more open area on the bottom of the shoe, not touching the ground. I was concerned that I'd have some slippage problems, but I did not. So I will continue to test these out and have more feedback in a future video. I just want to do this quick look while the shoes are pretty fresh. I actually bought this pair from Squash Gear because I like this particular colorway. Squash Galaxy has a different blue colorway. They're fairly light. They're about 30 grams heavier than the Fastball. This particular shoe right here, I'm 11 and a half US, was 380 grams, so not too bad. It feels well cushioned. Uh, the lacing system is, is pretty standard. It's got this kind of booty construction, so it really holds your foot down into the footbed as opposed to a, a standard tongue. You can see the, the, the sort of booty sock thing goes all, goes all around your ankle rather than being a separate tongue like that on the fastball. I found that to be comfortable. The insole, is removable and pretty standard from ASICS, but still comfortable. Just looking at the shoe visually, it feels quite high quality. This is all mostly one piece. Down here is where the sole is sort of glued to the upper piece. It's hard to tell in my initial testing what the durability is going to be like. It just appears to the eye to have a, a good quality construction. The cushioning on these felt good right out of the box. No real issues with how the impact was feeling on my knees. Again, I'm gonna test these out over the longer term. It's kind of the off season right now. I've been playing a bunch of paddle and pickleball, padel and pickleball. So I've been outside more. And once the squash season starts, I'll be able to test these out further and I'll be back with another review. But just wanted to give you a quick look around and give you an option if you are in the market for some higher end shoes.